Shooting artillery in Foxhole is great. You can hit the other team from afar without them hitting you back. But if you can't aim, then you're just wasting your own time and shells. So then, how do you get the big artillery gun to hit what you want? Uh, I'll be assuming that you have a basic understanding of how to operate an artillery gun in Foxhole, and you just need to learn how to figure out where to point it. There's four basic things you have to know. The actual distance and azimuth to your target, what wind tiers are, how to add a wind adjustment to your aim, and what dispersion is. Fortunately, I've got slides for each of these. How do you figure out the actual, unadjusted distance and azimuth to your target? There are a lot of programs out there built to help you with this, but the best publicly available one is the map on the Foxhole Stats website. Bring up the main map by clicking on the overview map on the main page. From there, use the measuring tool in the top left corner to draw a line starting at your artillery's position and ending at your target position. Uh, in the example, these are shown with a green dot and a red X. It's very important you get these positions as accurate as you can, as any mistake here will make all your calculations down the line wrong. The next thing you need to know is how wind is implemented in Foxhole. Wind exists in five discrete levels. The wind level can be determined by looking at the animations on any flag. Wind is almost always level 1, 2, or 3, which makes identifying the wind level easier. Identifying the current wind level is by far the hardest part of the artillery calculation. Adjacent flags can have different animations making it even more confusing. And on top of that, the wind level and direction contain, can change frequently, so you always have to check on it. I've provided the GIF of the flag animations for each wind levels in the slide. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as of this video's recording, this is the highest resolution that this information is available in. Uh, there are no publicly available wind references that are better than this one. Each type of artillery has a fixed displacement per wind level. For example, a 120mm field gun has a 25m displacement per level. So in a tier 3 wind, the offset would be 75 meters. Now that you know what wind is, we can add a correction for it to our targeting. Back on the map, draw a line from the target directly upwind with a length equal to the wind offset. This is called the wind correction vector. It's important to make sure the line is facing exactly upwind or your calculation will be slightly off. The example in the slide shows us adding a correction for a level 2 wind blowing south for a 120mm field gun. To calculate the final firing coordinates, draw a line from the artillery position to the end of the wind correction vector. Make sure to place this line so that you can read the label. If you're using a program other than Foxhole Stats, this might not be a problem for you. The last thing to know is that Foxhole adds some randomness to all artillery shots. This will give you a moderate buffer in case you make some small mistakes in the aiming process. And if Foxhole makes any changes to its artillery system, I'll attempt to put updates and corrections in the video description, so double check there before you're firing any shots. Have fun, and good luck not team killing 10 people with one shell.